we would like to present Meet Tyrus. Before the introduction of Tyrus, we would like to give you a good look at the city of science. We are now flying over one of the most beautiful places in Western Siberia. The Novosibirsk Scientific Center is named Akadem Gorodok and is located 30 kilometers from the largest industrial city in Siberia. Akadem Gorodok is the capital of Siberian science. It was founded in 1957. This is a new building of the joint venture Tyrus, construction of which was completed in the summer of 1994. So you have seen a small part of Novosibirsk Scientific Center. There are 24 research institutes and science is being developed in many directions. The idea of scientific direction to grow crystals in a laboratory environment led to formation a joint venture tires. A joint venture tires was founded in 1989 between the Institute of Geology and Geophysics, the Russian Academy of Science, Siberian branch. Island Company Limited of Bangkok, Thailand. So welcome to Tyrus. The grand opening of the new Tyrus Joint Venture Production Facility took place in August 1994. The completion of this facility has enabled us to expand the hydrothermal growth techniques. The major objective of Tyrus is to duplicate natural created gemstones and industrial crystals by growing them using hydrothermal processes. The name Tyrus is well known in the world of gemstones. We have taken part in several international exhibitions, participated and discussed with trade members and continuously exchanged ideas with members of the scientific community. We would like to show you the equipment used in some of the labs. Here we are modulating the hydrothermal processes in a theoretical environment. This unique equipment designed by Tyrus engineers enables us to accurately predict the outcome of an experiment. Therefore, we can theoretically calculate the ratio of chemicals and natural elements that are needed inside a pressurized vessel, position the seed needed for crystal formation, and a flow of the convection. A team of our scientists developed software that integrates and controls all parameters necessary to maintain and sustain crystal growth for the time duration of the process. We will use a transparent glass model of an autoclave to show how we grow emeralds. A quantity of low quality emeralds is placed in the bottom of the vessel. A bracket with the seed burl is placed inside. The seed is cut from high-grade natural crystal. Part of the autoclave is filled with a special solution. It is hermetically sealed using specialized equipment. We are now inside the production facility. These are the safety boxes for hydrothermal growth of different crystals. The special heating device is located inside the metal box. The prepared autoclaves are placed inside. The door of this special metal box is closed. Then the safety doors of the box are closed carefully. For the next few weeks, the process of crystal growth takes place. The temperature inside the autoclave is compared to the temperature in nature during the crystallization process. The pressure can reach thousands PSI. This is a central process unit. 
At the end of the cycle, the autoclave is taken out and cooled prior to being opened. This is what hydrothermally grown crystal looks like. Discussing the results of an experiment is an integral part of our scientific life. Leading specialists meet on a regular basis to exchange ideas and to find new approaches to research. Besides having the know-how to produce rubies and emeralds, we possess the necessary knowledge to produce a myriad of colors of beryl, sapphire, and alexandrite. We are now in a laboratory for the horizontal crystallization process. This is a floating method where the process is carried out at a temperature exceeding 2,000 degrees Celsius and a vacuum of gas environment. This method is used for producing alexandrite, YAG or YAG, and rubies. We are currently finishing the construction of a new facility to expand the production techniques. Tyrus has recently sponsored the formation of the Siberian Gemological Center that was opened under the supervision of the Institute of Geology, Geophysics, and Mineralogy. The center is equipped with the latest technology in research and identification of gems and minerals and maintains close relationships with GIA especially in the field of identification of man-made diamonds that are produced in the Institute. Here are just a few crystals grown by Tyrus. Emerald. Aquamarine. Red Burrow. Ruby, pink sapphire, sapphire, yellow sapphire, padbaracha or orange sapphire, and alexandrite. Nature created perfection. Tyrus continues this tradition. activity of joint venture tires is creation of new jewelry crystals produced in a laboratory and then commercializing the production techniques in order to mass produce created gems to the demand of the market. The basis of our production is hydrothermal method and now joint venture tires growing by this method emerald, ruby, sapphire. Today, Tyrus is one of the leaders of the world producers of created gems. And you can see our productions at all major exhibitions and jewelry fairs in the world. Welcome.